welcome to my YouTube video. My name is Suzanne Bryan and in this video I'm going to demonstrate part two of creating a knitted in one piece pocket. Part one was a previous video which I'll put a link up in the corner here and also down in the description below so you can look at that video if you come across this one first. In the, in the previous video, we learned how to put these stitches on hold, pick up a new fabric from behind, and knit the pocket lining. When we knit the pocket lining, um, we planned in advance that we're going to connect the front pocket with the side po uh, the pocket lining right here. So this is where the opening will be. This is just a little miniature pocket, but this is where you would put your hand in. The fabric's connected right here. The fabric will be connected here. And once we work this uh, top fabric down, it'll also be connected at the bottom, which is in the next video. When we knitted the lining, we worked across regular knit row. And then when we turn and work a row back, we work the first stitch as a knit. Then we purled the way the, uh, the rest of the row across, worked a right side row, the next wrong side row the first stitch is a knit and so on all the way up the row so what this does is it creates these garter or pearl bumps on the edge of the fabric you can see them how they stand out now I purposely left one out here because 99% of the time that's going to happen to you you'll forget to purl you'll forget to knit at the beginning of the purl row and you won't have your garter bump so I wanted to show you how you can tell that you missed a row the way you can tell is you can see all these bumps and they're equidistance apart and then there's a gap then the last pearl bump up here so we know one belonged in there. Now before we start what I do is I use removable stitch markers you can use this style or this style or whatever you have and I put one in the outside leg let me make this really big so you can see what I'm doing. Do you see this part? right here this this part here this part here now it doesn't really matter you can pick this part this part this part to just be consistent and even if you're not consistent it does not matter so the first one is here even though it's green this is our first one I'm just putting a removable stitch marker through that part of the pearl bump and I highly recommend doing this before you start. It will save you uh, ripping out later. I'm going to shrink it down again. So I have seven of these pearl bumps. I'm putting in a pin in each one. And we're going to be up to the spot where there's no pearl bump. I'll show you what to do there. If you don't have this many uh, removable stitch markers, just put what you do have, and as you take them off, as you work it, you can add them down. So here we missed one, right? So I'm just going to put it in the edge stitch, the leg of the edge stitch. And the very last one is right here, below the stitch on the needle. Okay, so now we've got our markers in. We have seven markers. And um, let's see how many rows we have. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 rows. So for each two rows, there's one pearl bump. So now we're going to work 14 rows of this fabric to match this. And we're going to follow our little cable down. In design, if you don't have a cable, you don't have to do the cable, you can leave it out, but I want to include a cable so you can see how to do that if you want to. So now we're ready to start. We're going to be starting with the right side row. So this was just our holding needle, so it's not the right size. So I'm going to pick up my correct size needle, which is the same as this one. And starting with our working yarn, and I'm a continental knitter, but the same concepts hold true if you're a thrower. Don't watch where the yarn comes from, just learn from what I'm doing. 
and we're going to knit across these held stitches off of the holding needle until we get over to that cable. It's a six stitch cable. Uh, it's two cable legs, two stitches each, and then a purl on either side. And we're just going to continue the cable down through the front of the pocket front. The white is the pocket lining, the green is the pocket front. Okay, so here's our first purl stitch. We're going to purl it. Now we're going to look at our cable, and we're not ready to cross yet. This is a plain row, so we're just going to knit four. Purl one and knit one. We have one stitch remaining on the left needle. We're going to look under here and we're going to pull up our very first stitch marker on to, and we're going to use that stitch marker. We'll set our yarn down. We're going to use that very first stitch marker right here. I can grab it and it's connected to that purl bump and we use it just to purl, put the purl bump up on the knitting needle. So now we have that purl bump on the left needle and we're going to knit it together with the last stitch without the stitch marker. And then we're going to take the stitch marker out. Now you can take the stitch marker out first if you want after you've pulled it up one stitch marker down and we just connected one purl bump. Now we turn the work and we're going to work back in pattern. So we had knit two on the front so it's going to be purl two and then that the cable one two three four five, six stitches for the cable. Then we're going to work all the way to the end. Now I'm going to turn and come back and we'll be back at that left edge in just a second so you don't have to watch me knit it. Okay, I've worked back across. I've crossed my cable. I'm going to do the last uh, cable stitch, which is the purl. I have two stitches left. I knit. Then I'm going to pull, look on the back and find the next removable stitch marker. And it happens to be, so we have six left, it happens to be this one right here and I just lift it. Let me make this really big because people want to see this. I take my stitch marker, I lift this up onto the left needle, remove the stitch marker, I split it a little bit, but that's okay. And I'm going to knit it together with the last stitch. Then I'm going to turn my work and work back. I'll be back over here again and show you one more time. Okay, I've worked a few more rows. I'm over to this side where I can do a joining stitch again. Work the next to the last stitch. I look at my lining fabric. I have three pins left. I'm pulling up the bottom pin. Let me enlarge this again. Pulling the bottom pin up. I put it straight. See, it's just like this on the edge. I haven't turned it or anything. I pull it straight up and put it right on to the tip of the left needle. Take the pin off. Now I have the purl bump along with the last stitch on the left needle and I knit them together as one stitch. I'm going to go ahead and continue on and there'll, uh, there'll be another video as soon as I get to it of joining the bottom but let me show you the side here. So we have two more to go. The one that uh, we missed and then the last one. So that means we have four more rows and we can see this is where we actually have two different colors of yarn here it's amazing but uh, this is where we joined right here and you can see it's perfectly smooth flat other than it being two different color of yarns 
you wouldn't be able to tell. And let's look and see what this side looks like. So here we have the knit two together. So this is the column of the knits where we do, and each one is connected to a pearl bump. And that's what seals the side. There's a little space in between. But, and then this would have a button band added on which would be picked up right in between these two columns so that joining column will be completely consumed in the button band. This is part of a cardigan tutorial that I have on Ravelry. It's called It Takes a Guild. This is just one small segment of it. It's a top-down raglan with pockets and a shawl collar and different cables and all kinds of fun things. Feel free to join us in that if you'd like. I'll put a link uh, down in the description below. You can also join me in my groups. I have one on Ravelry. It's called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan. And one on Facebook called Knitting with Suzanne Bryan. We have lots of fun in there. We do knit-alongs and it's all educational. It's very fun. I have a wonderful group of knitters uh, in both groups. And also subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and join me back here for the next one. See you shortly. Bye-bye.